Good morning, everyone. This is Tim from Neighborhood Church. I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, we know that everyone has stories to tell. Uh, some are good, some are bad, uh, but we also know that Jesus told a lot of stories. And so we are going through a series looking at Jesus's parables. Uh, parables are stories just with a, with a purpose, with a reason, with a, with a deeper meaning behind it. And so uh, we want to be encouraging you guys to be sharing your stories with other people, uh, as well as sharing the stories of Jesus with others. And so um, this morning I'm going to read uh, a parable of Jesus out of the book of Mark. It's going to be Mark chapter 2. Uh, verse 22. Now, this same story uh, can be found uh, in other books of the Bible as well. Uh, you'll see it. You can find it in uh, Matthew chapter 9 as well as Luke chapter 5. Um, but it's, I would really encourage you to go and read it because it's, it's really interesting and, and when you hear it, at first, you're like, what does that mean? But when you dive into it and understand the meaning a little more, uh, you know, uh, or you can see a little deeper the meaning. So uh, I'm going to read out of Mark, uh, Mark 2.22. It says, and no one pours new wine into old wineskin. If he does, the wine will burst the skins and both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No. He pours new wine into new wineskins. Now that seems relevant for all of us, right? Everyone pours their, their wine into wineskins, right? No? So uh, back in these times, uh, a common practice when they were making wine um, is they would pour them into uh, le leather sacks, basically, to let them ferment. Uh, and as the wine would create and as the wine would ferment, um, the, the sack that it's in, if it was new, it would expand because the wine itself expands once it, once it ferments. And so in order to contain that, uh, the wine skin needed to be new so the skin could stretch because once it stretched it, that was it, it was done. It was stretched. It can't stretch anymore. Uh, so if you were to pour new wine into an already stretched, uh, wine sack, then, um, as that wine expands, that old wine sack is, it can't expand anymore, so it's just gonna break. And then all that wine is just gonna pour all over the ground and, and you're gonna be left with, uh, with nothing. You don't have new wine and you don't have a wine sack anymore. So how does this relate to us? Because again, I don't think uh, Jesus, while he was talking about wine and wine sacks, I, don't, I think he had a deeper meaning. Um, Jesus is talking about combining the old with the new. Uh, Jesus has come to renew our lives. Uh, he has come to, to make us new. And as we allow Jesus into our life and, and allow him to uh, transform our life, if we are trying to stick to our old ways and, and trying to, to keep the, um, the old habits or, or whatever it might be, uh, they don't combine. Uh, Jesus, Jesus doesn't want to fit into our own way, our old ways. He wants to create new ways for us. Um, and, and he wants to transform our lives. And so this morning, I want to encourage you to, to jump on into God's word. Uh, take a look at this parable. Uh, again, it's Matthew 9, uh, Mark 2, and John 5. You can find it in there. Um, go ahead and read the context around it. If you guys watched Mark's video yesterday, it was the verse right before this one. And so uh, you can kind of see it in context and, and just really dive deep into this and, and, and just sit and take a moment and pray and, and ask God, you know, what is he wanting to transform in your life and what is he wanting to make new and, and what are you trying to hold on to that, um, uh, that still might be of the old ways? Cause I know I've got some and I'm sure we all do. So I hope this has been an encouragement to you. Again, we want to encourage you to share your stories, uh, share your stories about how Jesus is working in your life, uh, and share the stories of Jesus, uh, to those around you. Hope you guys have a great morning.